Hello and welcome back to JSA TV Live, the newsroom for telecom and data centers. I'm Keely Dorian coming back to you live from the showroom of the Vene of the Channel Partners Expo at the Venetian where we're having just a wonderful time. And joining me now on JSA TV, we've got Max Silber. He is the VP of Mobility and IoT at Metel. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Yeah, and we were just talking about the show. You're having a wonderful time so far. As, as always, we're here. We're in person. How can it not be a great show? Absolutely. Before we uh, jump into some things that you've got going on, just tell us real quickly about Metel. So Metel is uh, a nationwide provider of both wireline and wireless services. I focus what I do there on wireless and IoT, uh, but we provide a complete portfolio of services uh, today to about 5,000 corporations and organizations in the U.S., typically mid-sized to enterprise businesses and all the way up to the U.S. government. Uh, and we probably do about 90% of our business and have been for the last 26 years through the channel. So this is obviously a really important event for us every single year. Yeah, absolutely. So what's some of the special sauce that makes you guys unique and just different from some of the others out there? So I think part of the special sauce is the ability to really provide complete solutions. So we're not trying to sell a technology or a device. We're trying to look at the customer challenge and come up with very specific, unique solutions that really make the agent or consultant uh, provide significant value to their customers and ultimately deliver a solution that really enhances the experience for the customer, doesn't just replace what they have today. Yeah, very important. Absolutely. So as a, a leader in this space, can you give us some of your thoughts on some of the things that are really trending in the industry right now? We're talking about things like RPA, automation, AI trends. Sure. So, you know, the first and foremost, I'd say everything is kind of as, as a service. And we launched around two years ago a mobile program called Mobile Device as a Service. And the concept there, again, is you're solving a problem. Every single corporation we ever walked into had a back room with a bunch of cell phones that had a bunch of sticky notes on them. This one doesn't boot up. This one has a cracked screen. So by introducing mobile devices as a service, we're actually delivering a device that's fully programmed, fully provisioned on the carrier of your choice directly to the end user. And that end user, as we know, they might be in the office, they might be at home, and then consistently manage the life cycle of that program. And we use things like RPA and AI to really automate and digitize the entire process. And that allows us, whenever we get an order from a customer for a new iPhone 14 Pro, yeah. which we all love, uh, or an Android device, not everybody loves iPhones, we can actually get that device ready for shipment same day if we get the order before 1 p.m. Eastern. So that's really what RPA, AI, those elements really help us deliver a much better user experience. Yeah. Where, where do I sign up for the wait list for that iPhone 14? I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to share my information with you after this. Okay. <laughs> Said with a wink, right? <laughs> so, yeah. So you, you mentioned the channel being in this event being a very important for you because of your involvement in the channel. Um, so talk about some of those important partnerships that you've created or any new ones that you would like to give us the dish on. So I think what's interesting, and, and I've been doing this for a while now, We've had excellent relationships with everyone in the channel, both on the consultant side as well as on the brokerage side of the house. I think what's unique is the concept of channel is really changing. So organizations that traditionally were really big hardware distributors, um, uh, think of like CDW or someone like that, are now becoming and, and really, really um wrapping their hands around the channel and what the channel can bring to their organization. So I think as far as relationship, it's more about expanding what we view and what we really think is the channel versus what it was. But the nice thing is everything here is about relationships. And we've had these relationships for 26 plus years. That's my favorite part of this show. We come here, we see all old friends, and, and we got to really just enhance and improve on the relationships we've already had for so many years. That's a theme that I hear over and over again at this event and uh, just people talking about building relationships with folks like yourself. So it's really such a, a good, warm, friendly vibe and environment here. You're right. Absolutely. We yeah. love it here. Yeah. What's next? Anything that you can give us a sneak peek on? Sure. So don't tell anyone, but a couple of things we're working on right now uh, are single SIM 
uh, multi-carrier product or multi-carrier connectivity product. It's a single, think of it as a single SIM card that works on all carriers, both in the U.S. and internationally, in over 165 countries. We're now enhancing that product and ingesting it into our localized POPs. So 19 super POPs globally, that means anyone that's using that service today or anyone that wants to use that service for their uh for, for their customers will have much lower latency and much greater security. So that's on the horizon. And the last thing I'll share with you, another big secret, uh, think of laptops. We always think of connected devices, iPhone, Android, but think of laptops or connected laptops. That has to be part of that ecosystem and part of what we're going to be delivering to customers, obviously with the help of all these great relationships and great consultants we've always worked with. That's absolutely crucial. You're right. Uh, it sounds like you've got some wonderful things going on and wonderful things yet to come. So where can people go to learn more? Uh, I would say definitely contact your channel manager. Uh, we have channel managers that support just about every brokerage uh, company that's here that you probably work with. So go to that channel manager. Or if you want to learn more, just go to our website, metal.net, um, and submit a contact form and someone will get back to you shortly. Sounds great. Well, Max, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy the rest of Channel Partners in your thank time you, here. And thank you for having me. This was great. And to our viewers, thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you back here shortly on JSA TV Live from Channel Partners. Happy networking.